Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to be sharing our design with our client or one of our stakeholders. Okay, so we're gonna share it first of all with Doug. Who is Doug? Doug is fictional. Uh, I'm using Doug as a representative of a level of person you're gonna be sending it to. Doug is a simple creature. He hates computers and logging in and passwords. So, but we still need to get, you know, he's our client. I wanna get him this uh, prototype. Okay, this wireframe at this stage, just to see if I'm on the right track. Keep him involved rather than surprising him at the end. So it's really easy to share stuff in Figma. So we're gonna use the share button along the top. Okay, click on that. And we're gonna start with a simple version. Okay, cause what I'm gonna do is just send Doug a link via email. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna close it down. I'm gonna open up a browser and I'm gonna pretend to be Doug. Okay, so this is Doug. He, I emailed him a link. He clicked it in his email address, and this is what he sees. Okay, the nice thing about it is that Doug doesn't have to sign up or get passwords or get a free trial or all of that jazz. It just works, which is really cool. Okay, and he can kind of move around. He can't do a whole lot without logging in. Okay, but he can look at it and he can't comment at this stage. We'll do that in the next part. Okay, but he can look at it and go, oh yeah, that's cool, I like that, or hey, what's this going on? And give me some feedback at this early stage of my wireframe, just to make sure I'm on track. Um, the other thing you can do is this little play button still appears here. Okay, so we can click on this. You might have to tell him exactly where it is. And he can go through and actually prototype it without having to log in. He can see it, he can click on learn more. He can realize you can't get from learn more to the purchasing. Okay, so back to homepage. All right, so he can see all of this, which is cool. And one thing that might confuse Doug, which it does for some of my clients, is it's opened up a separate tab. You can't close this down and get back to it. You're like, you can click everything, but you actually just, it's got a separate tab that opens up when you hit this play button. See along the top there? Uh, yeah. Um, so yes, where this gets even cooler, like this might freak Doug out, okay? It might freak you out, okay? So he's working on this. What you'll notice is I'm gonna make Dig Doug go over this side. So pretend this side is Doug, and this side is my regular old Figma. Okay, so let's put a gap in between. So this is him on his computer at his house, and this is me on the, you know, this is me working like I did before. And what you'll notice is he can see my arrow. Figma is a really amazing uh, collaborative design tool. So it's probably for Doug, eh, he's not gonna appreciate that. <laughs> he's gonna be weirded out that I'm following him around with my little uh, hand. I can even see Doug, look, there is his hand. So if I move him over to, and click on this, anyway, <laughs> you can see each other, that's the point. Okay, and let's say Doug's like, oh man, it's good, but what is that green? I'm like, and I'm like, oh, quick, before Doug sees it, I can be, select all same color, go, and he's like, I hate green, man. Green's the worst color in the world. I'm like, ha ha, what about pink? He's like, I hate pink more. <laughs> <laughs> what about red or orange? Okay, so what's happening is it's, this is live collaboration. So um, it is amazing when you're working with other designers and other creatives because you're just doing something and you can all work on it together. Okay, but at this stage, we're just working with Doug and yeah, he doesn't have to do anything else. He can just look. We don't have to be updating it in front of him, but it's a cool little bonus extra. Now let's bring Doug back. Go on, Doug. Okay, uh, if Doug wants to use commenting, Okay, which is probably one of the really nice features. He can sign up free with either Google or sign up with his email address and he'll be able to start commenting. Okay, so that's one thing that I might convince Doug to do. So you can actually use a little pin and actually start commenting on it. Let's show you a couple of other things before we do commenting. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to Figma. Okay, so forget about Doug, bye Doug. Okay, a couple of things that you can do as a designer. Okay, is you can go into here, and when you do go to share, you can say, I want a link to a specific frame. So let's say that we all, the homepage is wrapped up. There's just problems with the um, product details page because there's no clickable button. Uh, let's do this terribly. Let's make that clickable, and we can go to the checkout. Okay, so what is it doing? Instant, that'll do. Okay, so what I can do now is I can select the frame first, and then go to share, and then that option will work. It'll say, when I send this link, it'll actually link to the specific frame, this one here, it'll start there, okay? If it's grayed out, it means you've got nothing selected, and I go to share, you can't tick anything. Okay, so that's one thing. Let me show you what commenting does. Okay, so let me upgrade Doug, wait there. Okay, so upgraded Doug, this is Doug now. Before he could only do very limited stuff, now with his free login, okay, he gets 
probably a little bit too many details for oh poor old Doug. You know, he's like, why well, can I see the CSS code? But the difference now is he's got commenting. So Doug over here is like, okay, I like this. Uh, you know, um, can't see my comment. So Doug's gonna write, why are we not using real images? <laughs> Signed, Doug. Doug, it's a wireframe, that's why. Okay, so he posts on his one. On my side, I can see Doug now, there he is. Okay, and I can start seeing comments coming through. Okay, and I can see it there, and I can see it's pinned, and I can see it's going there, and I can reply to Doug and say, Doug, I've told you a million times, this is just a wireframe for testing. Okay, send it off to Doug. I should put a smiley face in there. Okay, and you can see we can have this collaboration between my client, okay, and me. They can pin stuff. All the client needs is a free login, or they can just do it by email. Don't have to log in at all. So commenting is great. There's a couple of things. And for me, on my side, let's forget about Doug now. Okay, let's go. Can you see up here, there's two Ds. I should have called him Fred or something, but there's two Dougs now. Okay, so there he is there. Uh, he's the yellow guy. You can have loads of them along the top here, okay, of different people looking at it. Lots of different clients, lots of different testers. Okay, I'm gonna go from my, I don't wanna be on comments anymore, because I can add comments myself. Okay, I wanna go back to my tools that I know and love. And actually I can go back to comments and I can say actually this one here, I can click on it and I can say, see it here, resolved. Okay, so it's one of those things that we are finished with now. I've kind of made the adjustments based on it or at least I've replied to his and I'm kind of finished that and I can work as a designer through the different notes from my uh, client or tester or product manager. So commenting is pretty nice and fluid and in real time. All right, we'll wrap this video up. We'll do in the next one how to kind of share for editing. It's gonna introduce a different part of the Figma experience, which is Figma Teams. All right, I'll see you over there. Bye, Doug. Bye, Dan. I'm Dan. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.